Give him a lot of love. Let's hear it for Mario. Let's hear it for Mario. Come on. Here he is, here's homeboy, here's Mario on the house! Oh my god! I love you. Thank you. DJ West, everybody, one more time! Yes! Oh, you guys are so funny. What's up, Oasis? Yeah! Oh, Thank you, it's good to be here tonight. Drinking without my credit ID. Yes? And um, it's a new year, so I'm gonna start by uh, growing out my mustache. I'm going for Tom Selleck, but right now I'm only getting Janet Reno. That is the joke. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, I saw a couple skinny people here, and you guys can relate to this. People are always telling me to gain weight, right? And it's like, don't you think I know that? Do you think I wake up every morning, look in the mirror, and say, yeah, that's the look I was going for? 14-year-old Japanese girl. <laughs> it doesn't help that I do it while I'm wearing my kimono. <laughs> me love you long time. Yeah, and uh, people are always confusing me for being uh, Latino or I might be Filipino. So I just tell people I'm from El Salvador. Doesn't exist. And people still say, oh, I hear it's great this time of year. <laughs> it's actually volcano season. Yeah. And we're at war. We're at war with Panamasia. <laughs> now, I, uh, I really don't do this full time, so I hold down a couple jobs. I was working at the flower shop. The number one thing we always got at the flower shop was women who were looking for masculine flowers. Woo! Masculine flowers. Yeah, here are uh, Van Damme daffodils and uh, our Bruce Willis lilies. Yeah, try saying that three times fast. Uh, yeah, but uh, so I would just uh, sell them a palm tree with a penis. Right? And uh, one time we did try to make a, a hybrid flower. We were going to call it the Arnold Schwarzenegger. And uh, what it was, it was half rose and uh, half asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it didn't sell well. Thank you. And uh, th that's just one of the jobs I held. I was also working at a Sears in the hardware department. Sears worker then, right? And uh, were they maybe wearing orange vests? Like looking like a Caltrans road worker is going to get me some respect. They made us work off of commission. 4% on every tool we sold. Do you know how much 4% of a socket wrench is? It's not enough to get you to stop breaking into cars, my friend. And then they would make me work the late shift, or as I called it, the murder shift. Because anybody who comes into Sears at 10 o'clock at night, they're not there for a washer and a dryer. They're there buying plastic trash bags and a shovel. I still gotta make my commission, so I'm offering accessories. Can I get you some stain remover? Perhaps some rope, Mr. Peterson? We got a special on gloves, Mr. Simpson. Yeah, so now that I'm making the big time bucks at the flower shop in Sears, I decided to get a new cell phone, so I went to the cell phone company. I don't want to say what the name of this company is, but it sounds a lot like T-Mobile sucks. Right? And the guy's like, hey, you gotta get this cell phone. It's got Microsoft Word, Excel, and you can check your email so you can conduct all your business needs. Now look at me. Do I look like I have any business needs? I don't need Excel to subtract my weed money from my Sears paycheck. <laughs> I am 27 too, yeah. And uh, a lot of people are trying to tell me to start planning. They're like, you gotta plan ahead. Up until this year, planning ahead meant buying cheeseburgers before I got high. <laughs> plan ahead. They're like, oh, you gotta invest in your IRA. I thought an IRA was an indie rain with acid. Put your money in a 401k. Why would I invest in a race? These corny investment jokes go on for hours. So uh, I'll leave you guys with this. Um, now that Christmas is over, uh, I'm glad because no more crying babies at the mall. Yeah. Every, right? Every time you hear a crying baby, it's never like, oh, that's a crying baby. 
it's always like, shit! <laughs> right, right? So, uh, 